Hi, we're Laura and Dan. We bought an old barn and with no experience of building and farming, we began creating our dream off-grid homestead. We're usually fixing something or making lots of mistakes. Follow us on our journey. As you know, one of the big jobs we've been trying to tackle is to change the old rusty roof of the barn. With our past record on the land, jobs have ended up being a little harder than they needed to be. Our track isn't big enough for a wagon to get down and still needs a lot of work done to it. And before any roof can be fixed up, the new one needs to arrive. And for now, we have to revert to the old trusty truck to save the day. We received a call from the building yard and needed to head to meet the driver as our land is quite hard to find. So we've just had a call off the building yard saying that our roof's getting delivered now. So we're going to drive and meet them because our land isn't the easiest to get to, especially if you've got a big truck. So we're just driving there now. Don't sound too excited. You're not going to say anything. <laughs> I thought you were going to drive. <laughs> I'm excited. Are you excited? I am. Good. It makes both of us then. <laughs> it makes two of us. And... It does. <laughs> Me and Laura just sitting away to get the delivery on when we're trying to learn the word in Portuguese. For follow me. Sergeima. Sergeima. I think that's how you say it. I think we might just end up going like that. Sergeima. <laughs> After a few minutes of hand gesturing, we showed the roof delivery driver to the land. So it was at this point where the driver couldn't believe that we were going to take each panel up one at a time to the barn. He must have thought we were crazy. And he was still not quite sure what we meant. A few minutes later, we decided to whip out old trusty Google Translate to confirm and tell him that his truck won't fare well along our track. Many painful moments later, we felt like we were getting somewhere. After communicating our plan, we were ready to get to work. We gathered up some polystyrene to stop the panels moving along the truck. The delivery guy didn't want Dan standing on the back of the truck, so a little shuffling around was needed. All that was needed to do was eventually unload the first panel. We will get there eventually. Sometime today anyway. The discussions continued, but this time Dan got a big high five, which meant the plan was rock solid and it was time to crack on. Dan was then told for a second time, get to the side, amigo. With the boys finding their rhythm, the board started flying off.
Finally, the final board was off the truck and the celebrations could begin. Well, after a little more discussion anyway. Then all that was to do was to sign off the paperwork, which was crucial for the guy as he knew them boards still have a long way to go. The guy put in big bold writing that the boards were delivered with no damage. So the delivery guy has just left and now we just have the job of taking every single one of those one by one up in the truck. <laughs> and it's quite difficult because these are four meters long, so they're, they're very, very long, obviously, which is difficult. Getting Brooke got out gloves this time as well, because I've already, when the guy first arrived, I've already slipped me, slipped my wrist on them. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, they're, they're sharp on the edges because they're metal, obviously, but. It all, it's all, every single time, me and Laura always say, every single time, everything's a mission. And it's just because our track at the minute, obviously, it's still, it's still waterlogged at the minute, and we still haven't sorted it out properly. And for but it's obviously fine for us getting up, but for a, like a big truck like that, you can't. It's just it's There's not no way worth your it. Getting up there. It's not worth it. He was saying, should I go up? And we we're just like, no, no, it's not. It's not. Um, it's not, not, worth, not it. worth it. You know. No. Right? So we're gonna probably be on for a few hours doing this one by one, but yeah. we'll get there. We'll get there. Oh, I have the hardest job. I know. You're not gonna. Nah. You'd have to switch places. <laughs> We tried to do two boards at a time but the truck wasn't having it and it was too risky breaking the roof panels so we did it one at a time. Ready driver! <laughs> to the castle! So we've brought three of, three of the panels up now. It's obviously going to take a, a while to individually do one by one, but that's the price you pay when you want to live remote. It's the struggle to get things to you. So that's just the price you pay. But um, yeah, I think we'll be on for another couple of hours, but we're getting in there. All right, aren't we? Uh, slowly, slowly. Catchy monkey. <laughs> We started getting a little rhythm taking the boards up to the barn back and forth.
We were starting to get there now. This was one of those laborious jobs. We even had a little joke in between driving and said, should we just go back and live in a normal house? Nearly there, Laura. Nearly there. Well, two more to do. Two more, including yeah, yeah. this one. Yeah. <laughs> Back in my trusty old seat while Laura drives us to the top of the land and the sun is setting in the distance. Stunning. Last one. Woo -woo. We're finally there. Yeah. Just got this last one here to get in the truck and get up the land, and we're done. Yeah. Put a good shift in, Laura, haven't we? Yeah, it's taken hours, but I've done it. It has. <laughs> it's eventful, isn't it? It's always eventful. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> let's get cracking with it. <laughs> Thank you. 
As the sun was beautifully setting on the land, we had finally finished the last panel. With the sunset came a reminder that Rome wasn't built in a day and things take time. Sometimes it's hard to find patience when there's so much that needs to be done, but we're proud of the progress we've made so far. So here we have all the sandwich panels, but they're gonna get installed another day. Last one done as the sun is setting in the distance. Yeah, it's been a very, very, very long day. It's been a long one for sure. I'm just glad to be done. The sun, look at the sun in the distance. The sun is setting beautifully just as we finish up. Mm -hmm. so that's what it's all about. Making a home from scratch. Yeah. That's right. I'm ready for some tea now. <laughs> listen, to listen to the music and uh, while I'm sitting on the back of the truck watching the views. Yeah. <laughs> Good times. <laughs> Good times. <laughs> we'll remember this in the future. Yeah. The time where um, we we'll, would we'll, we'll drive up 50 times carrying all the roof. Hopefully in the future we can make the track better so we don't have to make jobs harder than they need to be but it's just got to do what we've got to do for now. Exactly, you've got to take your time. Fit jobs take time, you know what I mean? You've got to, you, can't, you can't do everything at all at once. No, exactly. You've got to take one day at a time. Mm -hmm. We'll get there. Yeah. Now, so now the, now, now the hard bit starts, we'll have to fix the roof on. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's the next it. hard job coming soon. <laughs> Nothing about that tonight. Yeah.